Hi guys, it's Jen, and I'm here with a haul video. Um, if you watch the video that I uploaded before this, the little 20 second one, you'll know that I was at my Michaels and found a whole aisle that looked kind of empty except for some boxes. And so I went through those boxes and this is what I got, plus a few other things that I picked up. Um, I had the 25% off everything coupon, so I took advantage of it. And what you're looking at right now is the Martha Stewart, I don't know what she calls hers, I don't know, her version of the score pail. And I really like it. Um, I particularly like that it's $20 versus the $40 score pail, so hey, you can't beat that. And this part right here opens up. And inside, I know you can't see this in the video, but are measurements for different types of cards where you'd want to fold them. So that's handy because it's always right there and it holds your score that you run through the lines. Um, it also comes with, and I don't have a score pail, obviously, so I don't know, but right down here there's storage. Let's see. If only I had three hands. And this little piece pulls out. And when you flip it over, it tells you if you're making envelopes, where to score and how to score those. So that's kind of handy, and I like that it stores right in there, so I picked that up. And let's see, I'll show you all the stuff that was not part of those boxes first. So I picked up two of the faux leather letters. Leather letters, say that a few times fast. I picked up the J and the S because those are my initials. Um, I think Megan had these on her video too, so oh, and I think my S is actually upside down, but, well, you know, whatever. Anyway, those are my initials. Moving on. <laughs> so, I also picked up some American Crafts ribbon, and I'm so excited about it. Um, oh, I think I might need to take the plastic off if I can. Let's see. So that it'll show up better on the video. I am just totally disheveled today and, and a mess, and I apologize for that. Um, yeah, you can kind of see that. It has... Um, like rose outlines and some muted colors with some green and pink and like a purpley color. It's really pretty. Then, oh no, I have one other one that's not part of the thing I was just about to tell you. So I'll take the plastic off that one. And it is this vine print in all different colors. And so then we are going to the beach this summer. So I picked up this one that has like starfish on it, and they're glittery, you can't tell because the plastic's still on it. And this one, which is like a chocolate brown color with different color anchors on it, very cute. And this one, which has glittery fish on it. So I got those, and that was that was exciting. They were $1.99, so, and then I saved the 25% off. Let's see, what else did I get? Oh, well, these aren't exciting, but I got some of the metallic frames. We used to just have the colored ones, they pulled out of those, and now we have the metallic ones. And I think what I'm going to use those for is, um, my family participates in the local Relay for Life, and the theme this year is Relay Wood, like a Hollywood theme. So I picked up a bunch of stuff, including these, um, frames. They were in their family night, family, yeah, family night, um, like movie theme section. And you can put pictures in all these spaces, and I picked up a bunch of those, I, they raffle off a basket from each team um, to raise money, and so I think I'm going to make one that has to do with movies, and I'm going to use that to make like a mini and use the frames, and I'm not sure exactly how, but when I do that, I'll show you. I picked up some of the Celebrate It paper bags, so those are fun. Um, in the dollar section, I know I've seen these in some videos, they had the bling with the two colors. And who doesn't need more bling? We all do. Um, the Star Mary Engelbright album, I think I may use for part of that mini album I was talking about for the basket to auction off. I picked up this journal, which is covered in like metallic silver stuff. And I figured that would be fun to alter and use for work. I picked up this set of stamps, the Inka Dinka Do, and I know a lot of you have these stamps too, the one that has the dress on the bottom, but I used to always pick up that dress when it was on the wood block and look at it and go, oh, well, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, and for $4.99 plus you get all of these, yeah, I'm sold, doesn't take much. I picked up these charms, 
and they're all cat themed obviously because I am eventually going to make that cat mini I keep talking about. I also picked up these charms because I'm obsessed with com something called the interrobang which is actually an exclamation point and a question mark kind of melded together. It's from the 60s and so I, I just love all kinds of punctuation so I thought I'd do something fun with those. Mm, what else did I get that was not on sale? Oh. I picked up the Kane Company, I think it's the Lovely Pack, and I know people have shown this, so I'm not even going to flip through that. You can see what it looks like. Really pretty. Who doesn't need more pretty paper? So let me just put that over there. Alright, so everything else that I bought was in random, whoa, sorry, random cardboard boxes in an aisle in the middle of my Michaels. So it was awesome. I just kept pulling things out and handing them to the husband and going, go scan this and see how much it is. Because, um, like these Prima right here, which are the mulberry paper flowers, it says, um, but they're not really mulberry paper. I don't know why they're called that, but they have, you know, some different patterns on them. And this one has 60 flowers. I also got this green one and it has 15 because they're bigger, whatever. They were marked two fifty, but I think that they actually rang up for less than that, so it was a good deal. And I also found from Prima their um, like burlap flowers. Here's the green and brown, and here's sort of a burgundy red color. So I picked those up. Again, those were marked um, two ninety nine, but I am pretty sure I did not pay two ninety nine for them. They're originally like five dollars. This basic gray rub-on roller, if you watch any of Christina Werner's videos, you've seen her use this, and I thought, I don't really need that. And so then when my husband scanned it, it came up five dollars. I thought, okay. It ended up bringing up for like two bucks. This Chloe's Closet um, from Making Memories ribbon pack. I don't want to run out of time. These are some Prima butterflies. They're like die cuts, and they're okay. Um, the Prima journaling stickers, those are really cute, and the Prima rub-ons, these remind me so much of tattoos, I can't stand it, they're super cute. Um, and then, let's see, everything else that I got, um, until I get to the papers anyway, was basic gray. These are the basic gray rub-ons, which they're five sheets, you can't even see all of them, and this is from the Archaic Collection. I also got the sorry, the clear stamps from that collection. It's definitely a boy themed. It's dinosaur. It's all browns and greens and oranges. And let's see, did I get anything else from that set? I have the paper pack, but I'll show you that in a minute. Then I got the undressed chipboard, and it's awesome. It's in the hip font, and that ended up being like I don't know, a dollar ninety nine. And then I got a whole bunch of stuff from the Sugared um, collection. This is not to be confused with the Sugar Rush, which is their new collection, but this is like a little kind of like baby girl slash love collection. These are the clear stickers. Sweet, Angel, Cherish. These are the five pages worth of rub-ons for that, and they're absolutely adorable. I have a friend who's adopting a baby girl, so I am hoping to make her an album. And these are... Let's see. I don't know if this is part of that collection or not, but these are just some baby rub-ons. They're just one sheet. Um, there's a random set of robot rub-ons that I picked up. And these are the chip stickers from the Sugared Pack, and they are so thick. There are four sheets in there, and they are just awesome. Here are some of the images. The flamingo, and the bird, and the giraffe, and the pink elephant, which is huge. Um, I'm about to run out of time, so I'm going to do a quick second video of this to show you the papers. So make sure you check that out. They're really cool.